Gentlemen, this next bout is sponsored by Apex Nutrition. It is a 115 pound title fight for five rounds. Introducing out of the blue corner, a judo and MMA practitioner with a record of three wins and no losses. Representing One Touch Fight Team, weighing in at 113 and a half pounds from Twin Lakes, Wisconsin, Mackenzie Mac Judo And her opponent out of the red corner, an MMA practitioner with a record of three wins and no defeats. Representing indie boxing and grappling, weighing in at 114 pounds from Indianapolis, Indiana, Natalie Gage. Natalie Gage and Rod Indianapolis, Madrigal Indiana. Is your referee. Oftentimes, Manny, you'll see a wrestler struggle with the upper body throws of a judo player. And it takes a few <coughs> punches in order to figure it out. Natalie Gage on a black on black. And then we've got Mackenzie Stiller in the black with red trim. Two punches by Gage. Yeah, left, two right, fighters punch. seem to favor the grappling, but now they're exchanging with the striking. Gage coming in. Heavy punches. Kick. Left, right punch by nice. Gage with a spinning back, back fist. fist. Knee to the body. Natalie Gage is very long for this weight class, Jeremy. Yeah. She's got the length of a 25er. Curious, I mean, uh, I saw that on, you know, she's a, uh, Mackenzie Stiller is not only great at jiu-jitsu wrestling, but she was a state champion wrestler, but also a black belt judo. Yes. So wow. We're looking great at, grappling prowess. We're looking at uh, Natalie Gage sitting down and getting out of that headlock position, and now pushing, pushing Mackenzie Stiller against the fence, and Beautiful judo down with that judo upper body throw that we were talking about earlier. Amazing. Like Ronda Rousey. She made a living and a killing off of being able to do this to many different fighters. Yeah. Mackenzie Stiller. It's hard to stop, isn't it, Manny? Very hard to stop. Once I'm oh, my gosh. gosh. She got the tap. It was like a modified neck crank. What happened was you saw Mackenzie Stiller weave her arm underneath the neck and kind of torque up. And it was, I, I, I it, Wow. That was tough to see. Ooh. It's an Americana. Mackenzie Stiller got it with an Americana. What you do is you place the hand in between the legs and torque yourself, dislocating the elbow. Mackenzie Stiller, with an, that is an Americana victory. You don't see that often, but it's incredibly effective and a very underused move. Very underused. And I actually yeah, learned that move from Eric that, Paulson. So I, I, Eric Paulson did a seminar once, and he showed some amazing attacks from the scarf hold. Obviously, he was someone who helped Brock Lesnar. And so it's a big guy move, but obviously you see females that are able to throw throws like that and have amazing side control attacks and not only get the crucifix from that position as well too. So I, I think if she didn't get the submission, she would have got some ground and pound there and probably would have gotten the stoppage. That was some high level stuff and I, I don't think too many girls would have an answer for that. Not very many at all, no. And something we haven't seen in a very long time. No, I mean, already has basically, I mean, the. There was a state wrestling background. You got the judo. You got the your purple belt jiu-jitsu already. She'll probably be a brown belt, you know, before long. The way she seems to understand the ground and the way she, I mean, her, her, her athleticism and the uh, quickness to see that. All and right, ladies Natalie, and gentlemen, okay. your winner She's at a great fighter with a bright future, three too. seconds it's into the first fight. round by Americana, Mackenzie Mac Judo Stiller. Ladies and gentlemen, with your winner, Mackenzie Stiller. Mackenzie, you kind of refer to that as a tarantula, but it's actually, well, it's modified. It is an Americana. Was that, was that your goal going into this fight? Is that something you saw on tape? I mean, I've done it uh, two times in a row now, third. It's not what I'm going for, but if it's there, I'm going to seize that opportunity and not fuck around and take it. Well, you completely dislocated the elbow of somebody that you were willing to trade within those opening exchanges. Did her punches connect and hurt you? I mean, they really did connect. She's a really good boxer, but like I said, my game plan is gonna dominantly win, and I'm gonna push forward and win, and that's what I did tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, but I think you've got some people that you want to thank in your hand right now. Oh, I want to thank my sponsors, Wisconsin Mobile Detailing, Belcor Electric, Kunkel Healthcare Connective Tissue Specialist and Acupuncturist, Halo Exteriors, Simply Lead Dog Training and Leashes. I want to thank my coaches, teammates, family, anyone who supports me. I want to thank everyone in here. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Mackenzie Stiller. Here we go, Manny, jumping into another wow. undefeated title fight.